제 244회 집들이 선물로 뭐가 좋을까요? 안녕하세요. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Speak Korean. I'm your host Lisa Kelly and we're going to study the Korean language, the culture and its people. And today we're continuing on with this housewarming party. It's getting pretty fun. Let's go and uh, say hello to Stephen. Hi. We've got some crucial cultural points for you to know today. So I hope you'll stay with us and our, uh, I'm Stephen Revere, and our <laughs> students. <laughs> yeah, hi Stephen, hi Lisa, hi Maru, 여러분 안녕하세요. My name is Marina, nice to see you again. And guys, here is a little advertisement for you. If you want to speak Korean well, uh -huh. 잘하고 싶으면, uh -huh. you should watch Let's Speak Korean every day. Uh -huh. Yeah, and yeah. you'll be perfect in Korean. <laughs> okay. 네, 여러분 안녕하십니까? My name is Maru, and I want to Notice that today Lisa is wearing a very nice shirt. Ah, yes. it looks great today. Shall <laughs> only Joe. <laughs> wow, <laughs> we'll we'll So today we're talking about the housewarming party. Have you guys ever been invited to a Korean home? Yeah, yes. once. Yeah? Uh, uh, when? It was on Chuseok. Chuseok. Oh, oh. to Chuseok. Oh, what wow. about Stephen? Sure, I've been to I've been to quite a few Korean homes. I've been here ten years, uh -huh. so yeah, and I've got lots Dengchi, of good Korean friends. Yeah, I've been to Jeonji, Sangye Party, wow. and Jipdiri, uh, of course. Mm -hmm. I've been to all kinds of places. Yeah, and at each of these events, you actually are supposed to take something obviously with you, but it's a different thing for each event. Yeah. So we're gonna find out what we do for this housewarming party. Let's get started. Here's our dialogue. Wrap it up with Lisa and Steven. 집들이 선물로 뭐가 좋을까요? 가루비누하고 화장지를 사가요. 가루비누는 왜요? 비누 거품처럼 돈 많이 벌라고요. <웃음> <웃음> All right, it's always a concern. What do I get my boyfriend, my husband, my parents? It's their anniversary, it's their birthday. Now it's the housewarming. What do I get them? How do we say this? 집들이 housewarming 선물로 뭐가 좋을까요? 집들이 선물로 뭐가 좋을까요? What would be a good housewarming party gift? Yeah. Let's try saying that. Yeah. 집들이 선물로 뭐가 좋을까요? 집들이 선물로 뭐가 좋을까요? Only, only oh. difficult thing here, I think, is that 선물로. Okay. You yeah. have to pay attention to which uh, post position. It's not a preposition in Korean, it's a post position. Which post position you have to use there, and sommulo, what we say, we, what should I go with, what should I choose? Oh, and you're choosing, of course, we hear in the right. next sentence. Now, you guys may be thinking, why am I going to take them toilet paper? And what? <laughs> Why am I going to take this to them? <laughs> this right here. You're going to learn all about this in just a minute. Karu is like a powder of some sort, okay? You'll have kamja uh, karu and a lot of cooking. They put potato karu is what? Potato starch in that case. Or uh, there, there's all kinds of karus that you end up with. Here, karu uh, pinu, we know pinu is soap, right? So. What do we powder detergent? Powdered soap. Uh, powdered soap. Can you show me some powdered soap there? What does okay. powdered soap look like there? Yeah. Powdered soap. Who uses powdered yeah, soap? That's the here detergent that we put into yeah. our laundry, right? When you do your wash, mm -hmm. you yeah. use this kind of a. Can you, can you hear that? Put it next to the mic. Can you hear that? That's the powdered soap, right? Okay. So anyway, karu pinu is what we're talking about here, and hago hajangjiru. 사가요. 자 가루 비누는 왜요? Same question I asked. Why <laughs> detergent? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wouldn't they like a nice, you know, base or something? Yes, they've, they've obviously predicted the question you're going to ask. <laughs> you could just go 가루 비누는요. Right? 가루 비누는요. What? We, we well, notice that 는. We, we we have trouble with uh, distinguishing between the contrastive markers and the regular subject markers all the time. Something new, something surprising comes up, you stick that nin on there. Why detergent? <laughs> because, well, what do we usually wish good fortune, right? When you go into a new home, hope you live well, make lots of money, be very happy. Well, 가루비누 means 돈 많이 벌라고, okay? 벌라고. 비누 거품처럼. 
Kapum is that foam, right? Mm -hmm. The suds, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. kapum. So just like the soap suds, I hope you make lots of money. You know how they accumulate ah, in suds, right? Yeah. 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 화장지는 왜요? 화장지. Ah, good question. 화장지 왜냐면은 이 화장지는 you know a knot. When you tie a knot and you you take out the knot, it's called pulida. Pulida. Pul pulida. When I do it directly, but then 이 이것도 잘 풀리잖아요. 화장지 잘 풀리 풀리니까. What's happening is in Korean you also say a problem. 문제가 풀려요. Okay. Or 일 어떤 일이 풀려요. It means that it gets worked out. Okay. In the same sense. So what they're saying is 일이 다잘 풀리게 돼요. 되도록. Right. They're wishing that all your yeah. problems get worked out very well. So that's the reason. The paper. So that's that's why they say that. And that's why they take the toilet paper as a housewarming gift to yes. hope all your problems work out. 자, mm. 문제 풀렸어요? Mm. 네, 잘 풀렸어. Very good. <laughs> okay, her problem is solved. Now she knows the answer or the reasoning behind the toilet paper. Okay, let's go and take a look at today's Korean Insight. Korean Insight. <gasps> what, what do you got there? You know, um... Someone that I know actually received a prize from the government for taking care of their parents so well for being a prize son. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, it's pretty sure. cool. Yeah. That's, a, that's a, a good example of a Korean custom. Uh, in, in this country, uh, they don't have many old folks' homes, and uh, originally, always the oldest son took care of the parents. It's changing a little bit now, but still it's absolutely expected right. that the oldest son has all the responsibility for taking care of the parents when he gets older. Although a lot of the times now younger siblings will get involved, nice. but uh, up until only a few years ago, the younger, younger siblings, actually it was harder for the oldest sons to get married because, because they have to <laughs> take care of the, the specific oh. reason that uh, women didn't want to have to take care of somebody else's right. parents and when they got older. It's one word we might want to learn here is mushida, which means to take in your parents into your home and to take care of them, feed them, clothe them, etc. Mushida can also mean to take care of a guest yeah. as well. And to summarize today's expressions, we had jipdiri. We're talking. That's our main topic here. We're talking about a housewarming party, and then we had karupinu, which was Detergent, right? We had detergent and then kopum. Mostly today it's vocabulary apparently, huh? We also had foam, that's talking about foam in the case of detergent suds, right? And then we had polagwayo. They're telling you to earn a lot of money. Don money polagwayo. Okay, let's take a final look at our lesson. Tipdiri sanmullo moga jeolkayo? Karubinu hago hajangjiril sagayo. 가루 비누는 왜요? 비누 거품처럼 돈 많이 벌라고요. <웃음> <웃음> All right, we're going to Marina's house afterward for our housewarming tip three, and I've prepared a little traditional Korean jewelry box. You can just put a little trinket in there, or just put it around for show. What have you got? Steven, toilet paper? Why don't we just take the whole 24 pack, okay? okay? That's what we're supposed to take. What about Maru? I got the Jeje Pum. Ah, okay, to clean the house. Jeje! Yeah. Get rid of all your problems. And I also have a present for myself. For okay. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, if you ever get a chance to go to a cheap city, it's lots of fun. Lots of great food, a little they good drinking. You, yes. And drinking, that's important too. For well, the price of toilet paper, you get fed. It's uh, really yeah, good. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> it's cheaper than a buffet. Let's uh, hope to meet you back here next time. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.